there. Uh, I got a small care package from Herlitz. I have reviewed some of their products, at least the MyPen, uh, and I was contacted and um, um, they were enthusiastic uh, about my videos and they wanted to send me something. And they sent me their new uh, style range. And it came with this little thing, uh, which means that you can win a fashion trip to Berlin. What you need to do, it's relatively simple, this folds out, I'm just going to go through this for those of you who enjoy such things. You need to take a photo of your style, you'll need to upload the image and then you can win a fashion trip. Um, you need to go to herlitz.eu slash mbfashionweek. Um, and uh, that's pretty cool, it uh, runs until uh, November 30th, 2014. And you can win a VIP trip to the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Berlin uh, and all kinds of other things, uh, including a 500 euro shopping spree. So for you, you fashionistas out there, upload a picture of your style following the colors of that new style range. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll be in Berlin. Okay, so I'm going to cover the pens they sent me. They sent me their new style pens, fountain pen, rollerball, and gel roller. Um, I'm going to start with the fountain pen. Uh, the book, lo uh, the, sorry, the box looks a little crummy. That's because I opened it, and these types of boxes are almost impossible to reassemble. Um, out comes the pen, and it is the My Pen, My Full Stop Pen. I have reviewed a My Pen before, but this is the My Pen style. So um, here you have the pen. I think it's pretty cool, and the first thing I noticed was its shape, because it's triangular, and we don't see that many triangular pens, I think. Clearly that reminds me a bit of the original Omas 360, uh, but this is a pretty funky pen, and they come in a bunch of colors. Here I have their rollerball, which has this red finish, so you can pick a color that you like, and this is the gray. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, let's start at the very top of the pen, the finial of the cap. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot going on there, but I kind of like this design. Um, it's a, a pretty nifty clip, which actually leaves some space between the cap and the clip. I think that looks pretty cool, and I also like that wave. I think it looks nice. What I also love is that that wave pattern continues from the cap onto the barrel. They really paid attention to designing that. Now at the end of the barrel it tapers down, this is a sort of rubbery, ribbed stuff, and then here you have the MyPen style logo and the Halitz brand logo. On the clip you have the Halitz logo as well, and the clip is very springy, very pleasant to use. Okay, the pen uncaps, uh, it posts, and then it gives you a very decently, nicely sized pen. Um, and what I really like is that you have this ribbed stuff at the bottom of the section, which you rest your finger against, and then you have this stuff uh, on top, which makes for a very comfortable grip. And here you see that rounded off triangular shape, and that is continued all the way up to the end of the pen, where you can see it a little bit less clearly, but it's still a bit triangular. The nib. A simple steel nib with the Herlitz logo, not super huge, um, and that's pretty much it. The section shape has that triangular form. And as I said in my review of the Omar 360, you may think, well, triangular section, is that comfortable to hold? Well, in fact, I think it's probably the most comfortable shape. Because think about it, when you hold your fingers like this, what you get between your fingers is pretty much a triangle. So this is very, very comfortable. The pen is fairly thick. I can easily see children using this, but I do think this is a sort of fancy enough pen that this could be used by adults as well. It doesn't look very childish, like for example the new Pelicano model. Um, I think it's cool. Uh, I also like the fact that the nib is bent down slightly, which makes it very comfortable to hold it in combination with that triangular section. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Um, I like the clip, I like the overall shape of the pen, I like the size, especially when it's posted. Um, the pen takes cartridges, and this is the first ever time I have seen a completely white, non-transparent cartridge, but it's just a standard international cartridge. 
um, quite cool. Uh, and in the barrel, in the back of the barrel, there is room for a separate cartridge, which means that I'm fairly certain you can find a converter that would fit this pen if you desire to use bottled ink. I like the design of the pen, as I said, where these gray uh, areas just continue from the section to the barrel. I like the way you hold the pen. So is there stuff I don't like about it? Yes, there are a few things. Um, it's a bit bulky, and I find that pleasant, but I can imagine if you have smaller hands, maybe it's a little bit too much for you. Although, it's not a super wide section, so I think you should be fine. But maybe try it out before you get one. Um, the second thing I will say is that the nib is nice. It's smooth, but it is extremely hard. It has almost no... You can, it's steel, you can make it open up a little bit for some minor line variation, but it will not yield while you write. And the thing with that is that it may make the nib feel a little bit more feedback-ish than it really is, for the simple reason that it just doesn't give a bit while you write. So there's no sort of buffer that will, it's a little hard to explain, but... If you've ever used a somewhat springy gold nib, you probably know what I mean. It gives a very soft feel, because when you, once you push down on the paper, the tines open up a little bit, and that kind of buffers the impact of the writing. This pen does not, so the feedback from the paper is really transferred into your wrist. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a terrible writing experience. In fact, I think it's quite pleasant. And if you use it on a lot of forms, for example, if you have those... Uh, press through forms that you have, you know, three sheets, you fill out the first one and then what you write should also be pressed onto the second and third. This pen would probably do it because it's a hard enough nib and these days that's not always the case. So I think a pen, this pen is very good for these types of purposes. In general, it should be taken for what it is, an inexpensive pen, but one that is a great knockabout pen and that will actually get the job done. It's pleasant to hold, it's pleasant to use even for longer writing periods. So let's take a few measurements. Before I do the writing sample, um, size, whoops, it's a bit slippery, so it's a little hard to get into my caliper as well. There we go, 143 millimeters capped, uncapped, 130. Section diameter, of course it's triangular. So if I go from the flat side to the tip of the triangle, I have 12 millimeters at the narrowest point, and at the widest point, almost 13. So it's definitely a thicker section. Okay, now when it comes to uh, weight, inked up, I have 18 grams. 18 grams is not even that light. So it's um, it's a decent pen. Clearly, a lot of plastic. So don't get don't expect that metal weight but still very nice. Helitz, thanks a lot, especially to Stefan over there who sent me this. Thanks also for your very nice handwritten letter. It is very uncommon to for manufacturers to send me stuff and send me a full page-long handwritten letter uh, to explain their, their company and stuff. Uh, very, very cool. Thanks a lot. Guys, I hope this review was useful. Let's look at how this pen writes, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the Herlitz style. My pen style. Uh, the nib is something between fine and medium, and the ink is the cartridge that came with this pen. Let's do a bit of writing. What I notice uh, with this nib is that it's in principle smooth, but very hard. So don't expect a lot of line variation. Because of that hardness, it gives a bit of feedback. That is not scratchy feedback, it's just feedback because it's hard and it doesn't really give when you write. Okay, when we write fairly quickly, There's not really any um, skipping, so the pen gives a very nice, consistent ink flow. When it comes to wetness, of course, also a bit of a property of the ink. Uh, we get this nice patch of ink, but it's not super wet. And again, it's a fairly hard nib, so don't expect the tines to open much. 
but let's put that to the test. Even though it is a hard nib, we can still squeeze out some line variation if we absolutely have to, but I wouldn't recommend pushing this pen too far because this seems to me to be a nib that might spring just because it's so hard. Okay, if you turn it around, you see that the nib is very dry, it doesn't really do reverse writing to get a thinner line um, by turning it upside down. So, uh, it's a very fascinating little pen. I thank Halitz for sending me this pen. Um, and uh, guys, I hope this was useful, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.